In this video, we're going to create a two-hour average using retrieval options. We are still using the Velocity Terminals database. Navigate to Library, Templates, Element Templates, and then Tank. Navigate to the Pressure Attribute. In the previous lesson, value retrieval modes were reviewed. At this time, we will work with some variations of retrieval modes. Pressure is critical in our process, so we want to track the two-hour average pressure. From our viewer screen, right-click on Pressure, then select New Child Attribute. Rename the attribute to Two-Hour Average Pressure to represent the two-hour average of the pressure attribute. Open the Settings screen. Select the pressure attribute. This child attribute is based on the pressure attribute. Note the substitution parameter usage when selecting pressure, denoting the parent-child relationship. Under Value Retrieval Modes, by Time, select Time Range Override, since we are wanting an average over a period of time. In the Relative Time box, enter minus 2h to indicate a period of two hours. In the By Time Range drop-down box, select Average. In the Calculation Basis drop-down, Event, and Time Weighted options exist. In this instance, we are selecting Time Weighted. The Minimum Percent Good box allows you to eliminate or filter out bad data associated with the pressure attribute. By default, the field is set to 80%. Prior to accepting or checking in the results, verify the two-hour average pressure correlates with the pressure that we are experiencing. Navigate to one of the tank assets. Select Elements in the Navigator pane, Velocity Terminals, Locations, Montreal, and then Tank 01. Select Pressure in the Child Attribute to our Average Pressure, then select Trend. Upon reviewing the trend, the two-hour pressure should be in line with the pressure value. In this trend, however, it appears the two-hour pressure is much higher than anticipated. Close the trend and review the attributes. It looks like we did not verify the unit of measures for the two attributes were of the same unit. Navigate back to the library and update the two-hour average pressure attribute to bar. Check in to save the changes to the database. Refresh the screen. Verify new child element is added to the attributes for the tanks. Let's go ahead and navigate to Tank 08 under Elements, Velocity Terminal, Locations, Sydney, and then Tank 08. Trend the pressure and average pressure to verify the two are as expected. 